Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rise in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. You're never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow when I move fast. And that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes. Welcome. I came out with my kids. They came to swim. So today is all about making this maxi one size fit all dress. So I have this dress. It's like a must have in your wardrobe. You need to have this. Like you just tie it. Like you see what I did. I did a crochet. Like I did a crochet with a tassel. Yeah. I had like five of them. But anytime my sister comes to my house, like she. She just picked one so now i have only one left and this one too and she's she really wants to take this one now so i might have to give her, i don't know let's see so i'm gonna start with an illustration on how to make this dress because it's so long i didn't use i didn't have like a pattern um paper to draft the pattern for this so i had to like use a newspaper so with newspaper drafting newspaper and documenting it you'll be able to see it so I just did this so please if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe subscribe like my video and share my video <laughs> so that's my son talking so let's get right into drafting okay drafting like me showing you the illustration of how I came up with the dress and sorry all right I got my inspiration from these pictures right here you can see how flowy the dress looks you can see the cord and the tassel so let's get right into the illustration on my illustration paper I drew a straight line in the center of the paper I also marked up my neck length which is three inches this is not really important the neck measurement is not important for the for this dress but i just have to mark that out for my armhole depth i marked 8.5 inches and 1.5 inches this the 1.5 inches is for the slant so i just marked that out together with my armhole depth measurement so i also marked out my hip points which is 25 inches this will serve as a guideline to create the a line shape for the dress you see that later why for my dress length my dress length is 60 inches so i use the entire illustration paper as my dress length i squared out all the points i created Next step was to mark out my back width, which is 8 inches. I also marked that point on the armhole depth and connected the two points. I also marked out my neck width 3 inches, so not important too, in creating the dress. For the shoulder slant, I marked 1.5 inches which I already added to the armhole depth measurement. I just marked that out and connected that to the neck. In order to create the armhole curve, I marked out quarter of my bust measurement. 
my bust measurement is 36 inches i divided up into four using my tape measure and marked that out on the armhole depth step was to get the midpoint of the armhole depth just like so and mark that out i also went in a quarter of an inch just to create a guideline for the curve after that i marked a quarter of my hip circumference so this is a guideline to help me create that a line shape so what i did was to place my ruler on the um, armhole depth and connected that all the way creating all the way down to the dress length creating the curve as you can see i just used the hip circumference measurement to extend to create the a-line shape from my shoulder i marked down for the five inches this for the five inches is to show where the dress stops and the flare the bottom flare continues so it's just um for my knee i went down four inches so you can wherever you want to put the bottom flare you can just mark that out from the armhole depth midpoint i drew a line 15 inches exceeding the center front this is the guard ring the front guard ring so everything sums up to 30 inches because it will be cut in fold so everything sums up to 13 inches if you want a lesser flare you can do 5 or 10 inches so whichever you prefer so i chose i wanted a flowy dress so i used 15 inches making it 30 inches 60 inches in total for front and back so the the cancel mark is where i cut the pattern the down bottom part is the flare so i went up three and a half inches this three and a half inches is to create a point where the ruching in front ruching on the top will be and also the space to insert the cord so i just went up three and a half inches two inches for the top gathering the other one inch half inch to insert the cord and the other one inch to be folded and sewed on the next step is to draw a slant line from the the armhole depth connecting to the three and a half inches top just like so so i'm just going to um create a cancel scissor sign to show where to cut out this pattern can be used for both the front and the back so there's no other pattern for the back it's for the front and the back so it depends on how you tie your dress to indicate which is the front and the back so just one pattern can be used for both the front and the back why for the bottom you can you cut you cut that bottom part that's the, the joining flare you cut it like times two of your full dress measurement the bottom part dress measurement times two of it or times times two and a half of it just to get that full flare and that is it yeah, some of the materials I used a crochet hook, um, my chiffon fabric, and a yarn. I've used this yarn before to make um, a blanket that had to lose in it, and a pin also. Yeah, so I've cut out my fabric. I wasn't able to cut out the bottom part of the fabric twice or once, so I had to cut it in four places, then I have to um, sew it together. So first is to double fold the the arm, that's the armhole and pin. I pin not exceeding the arm, so you just notch so you know where to stop by folding the arm. That's the armhole. And after pinning, you sew, so you sew in four sides.
after this the next step was to sew the sides together the side seams together so I just pin to hold them stable and so so I used my overlock machine as long as it's not um, uh, fitted on my body I just use the overlock machine since my overlock can also sew so I just use my overlock machine to sew the side seam The next step is to fold and sew the top part of the dress where you insert the cord. So I just fold half an inch in, then fold it all the way down to two and a half inch. So I'm just gonna pin and sew on the edge, then give a half inch space, then sew to create the opening for to insert the cord. I'm done pinning so it's time to sew like I said I'm going to be sewing on the edge then give a half inch space and sew on the top So the next step was to watch a video on how to quit the cord. So the different videos, the different videos on how to make different cord. I chose the Bella Coco um, because I, I want to quit it. I don't want to tie. So you, you, you can go with the tying I, because I don't want it to unravel at any point. So I just went with the crochet. So and I have been crocheting for a very, very, very long time since I was little. So I have the graphs of how to crochet so I would just suggest the Bella Coco because that's where I got the crochet that's, I learned, that's where I learned how to make the cord so but I also showed you what I did to get the cord I don't know the terminology the terms used for cr um, crocheting so what I did was just to wrap it um, create like uh, a notch so I can start crocheting after notching I just ran three um, chains I did three chains so I crocheted three times the last chain i inserted on the second chain and pull up pulling the yarn i also inserted in the last the first chain and also pull it in yeah so this is the foundation here so the next step was to pull out the two chains the first and the second chain and i head on to the last chain I also yarn in and put the uh, yarn in just like so yeah I put in the second chain and do the same thing drag the yarn in I put in the third chain and drag the yarn in so this is what I was doing remove the two chains put the, um, the yarn on one and drag it in and put in the second one drag it in drag the yarn in and put in the third one so this is what I did until I got to the length of the the length I wanted
After getting to my desired length, I just drag the yarn in to the three chains and just tie it up. That is it. And I cut out the um, the excess. The next step was to create the tassel. So I just got a card and wrapped the the yarn over it. Just continuously wrap the yarn like so, and cut on one side. So I did that this like three times to get the full um, tassel. To get a full tassel, I just did it like three times. Yeah, so you can just do three, four times depending on how you want. My yarn look buff, like look um, full because I've used it before, so it's looking um, wrinkled and so. I cut one strand of yarn and put the other yarn that I have made for the tassel at the center, making sure that they're between on the center of the row. Just watch. <laughs> In fact, just watch. I think you should watch this rather than me explaining. <laughs> if you don't tie it well, it will pull off. My pull off like two times. I had to like redo it, so it's good to tighten it well. okay so once i'm done with that i used my hairpin to insert on one side so the, the i did the tassel on one side then after inserting the cord through the channel where the cord is meant to pass through then i did the tassel on the other side so you have to insert first before doing the tassel on the other side So after this, I had to test the cords. Though I tied it low, but the length of the top part of the dress was so long, so I had to cut it by five inches. I had to cut five inches out of it uh, before joining the flare. So this is the flare. I joined the four pieces together for the flare. Like I said, I used a serger. Yes, I used a serger. I used my overlock machine to join the four. Then I used for as my length to create the gathering so what i did was to push all the fabric in just like so just to create the gathering you can see yeah and it works so it was just pushing as i was sewing fast i was just pushing it in just to create the gathering so the next step was to join the flare to the bottom of the dress so i just flipped it can see what I did I just turned it over the front face in the front just like so and pin round before using my overlock machine to sew so I've pinned time to sew
so here we go you can tie your rope low you can tie it high so I tied it high because I tied it low I'll be able to work well so the next thing was to hem the bottom and that is it this is the final step hem the bottom and you are good to go so thank you for watching please don't forget to like my video share and subscribe bye see you in my next video bye